Princess Elizabeth, number 6201, was also built to Stanier's designs. In 1936, she made railway history by doing the round trip from London to Glasgow and back at an average speed of almost 70 miles an hour for over 800 miles. Nigel Gresley, streamlined Pacific Class A4, number 4498, built and named in honour of the London and Northeastern's chief mechanical engineer in 1937. She is one of the same class as Mallard, number 4468, which on July the 3rd, 1938, reached a speed of 126 miles an hour between Grantham and Peterborough, the unbroken world record for steam traction. And this is Cookham Manor, 460, number 7808 of the Great Western, built in 1938. Many of these manor-class locomotives worked out of Aberystwyth, hauling the Cambrian Coast Expresses. Number 7808 is now at Didcot. Whilst this one, the formidable 2100 Gordon, is on the Seven Valley Railway. Built in 1943 to R.A. Riddle's austerity designs, she was one of the class that worked overseas, helping to restore rail traffics in war-torn countries. Here's another most interesting locomotive, one of the LMS's Black Fives, number 4767, built in 1947. She was one of a batch which the chief mechanical engineer, George Ivert, had built with different valve motions. This one has George Stevenson's link valve gear, introduced more than a hundred years earlier. She was named George Stevenson in 1975 by the Right Honourable William Whitelaw, grandson of the chairman of the London and North Eastern Railway, William Whitelaw, who presided over the centenary exhibition in 1925. And now we have the Southern Railway 462 Merchant Navy Class Express Passenger Locomotive, number 35028, Clan Line, built in 1948 to OBS Bull design. These Merchant Navy Class locomotives hauled such trains as Golden Arrow, Bournemouth Bell, and Atlantic Coast Express. 